Truth and Talks. I think it's time to talk about psychological projecting. Projection. I think I'm guilty of it. I think I did it. Here's how and here's why. And here's why. It might be true that many of us have been doing that for a long time with respect to the political uh, atmosphere, the scenario in which we find ourselves. Here's what I did. A friend of mine posted the now infamous link to America's Frontline Doctors. And she did that last evening. I noticed that it was 45 minutes long. So I put it on pause, got some food, gathered around the, the computer, and sat down to watch it. And by at that time, it had been removed. Content suspicious by social media. And I messaged her. We found it. We dug it up. And I viewed it. By now, most everyone knows who Dr. Emanuel is. The first physician to walk to the microphone in her white coat, I don't believe even identified herself. So red flag number one, who is this, was my question. Uh, when she left the microphone and the next gentleman came up, he did identify himself as a pediatrician from Santa Monica. And he made some claims with regard to children and COVID-19. I haven't substantiated those yet. I don't know if anyone has, so I was a bit suspicious of him. The third alleged physician to take the microphone uh, started out slowly, but she didn't really pace herself. It was clear after several minutes that she was upset. She was driven by emotion. She was passionate. Her name is Dr. Emanuel. She claimed that she had treated 350 COVID-19 patients successfully. She claimed that none of them had died. She claimed that she used hydroxychloroquine, zinc, and z -Pak. She also claimed, speaking very rapidly with, I think, a Caribbean accent, uh, that it mattered the cocktail, it mattered the chemistry, it mattered how much of which was, was applied, it mattered the ratio. She alluded to studies that had been done on hydroxychloroquine that uh, seemed to raise suspicion about the efficacy of this drug, but she was claiming that it was her cocktail that she had applied successfully, saving the lives of 350 COVID patients. But it was her tone, her manner of delivery that I couldn't unsee. I couldn't shake it off. And so today, you know, uh, after getting involved in dialogue with a couple people on social media, in the thread that I had posted, even though the video itself was removed, um, kind of led me to zone in on this cocktail of hers. Even though CNN spent the day pointing out that Trump himself had said that the drug was effective, though studies had proved otherwise. And it only took a few minutes for me earlier this evening to realize, after a respected physician friend of mine pointed out that hydroxychloroquine and z -Pak was what caused the heart problems and the deaths, or 
heart uh, damage. So where did that leave me? Facing this reality. The reason that I was drawn by Dr. Emanuel was because her tone and her insistence, her conviction in public convinced me that she really believed what she was saying, that she really meant it when she said none of her patients had died, and that she really meant it when she said there were 350 of them. Now here's why I projected with regard to this woman. I myself would never go in public and approach a microphone and make declarations about anything I had done unless I was absolutely certain that I could defend myself and the veracity of my statements. I go out of my way to speak my truth and to speak the truth as best I understand it. And if you don't know that by now, you haven't been viewing my video series telling the truth about. This is what I do. I think we need truth tellers now more than ever, and I'm sure many of you will agree. The question is, why and how did this woman become so convinced that she had saved the lives of 350 patients using the cocktail that she claimed that she had applied? If she's lying, I can't relate. I cannot relate to somebody making claims as passionately as she did, which were, are now vulnerable to being completely vetted, investigated, and proved true or false. Who would run that kind of risk? Only somebody not capable of defending themselves. I identified with her presentation because I myself would never appear in public unless I could prove what I was saying to be true. I projected. And I didn't project classically, you know, negative aspects of myself onto her. I actually projected something I believe to be a positive trait, that is of being truthful. We do project. We project all kinds of things about ourselves onto other people. We also accept those who remind us of ourselves, our better selves, or the self we wish uh, others to believe us to be. And that's where I think most of the Trumpers originate. They might be wannabes. They might wish to be thought of as classy, albeit pseudo-classy, wish to be thought of as strong-willed, confident, capable, wealthy, and powerful. How else could he have drawn so many to himself? How? So, I made an error in judgment. I projected truthfulness onto somebody who went public passionately in defense of actions she claimed to have taken. Be careful in whom you put your trust and upon whom you project yourself.